Hi guys, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. It's Shalina. Um, I finally invested in a better camera, so now I'm just trying to, to figure it out. Gosh, this thing is so much nicer than my phone, and I love it. Um, I just got it, not yesterday, but the day before that, which is Monday the 20th? Yeah, I couldn't use it yesterday because I had to work both jobs all day and all night long. Um, but now I'm excited to finally get to use it. Um, so today's video is going to be a short, simple video. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I pack in my hiking bag. Um, and I just want to tell you guys that I am by no means a survivalist. Um, I don't train people on how to survive in the wild if something happens um, or you know what you should pack in your bag. Um, but um, I just thought this video would be fun to do uh, just if you want to go on like a small general hike um, if you're new to the outdoors and don't know what you should pack um, maybe I don't even know what you should pack but I mean it just works for me and the dogs so I figured I would um, take a video of it just to show people and now I'm actually like starting to get really excited being in front of the camera um, <laughs> my first video I was definitely really nervous <clears throat> to record anything and I've never been the kind of person that really enjoyed hearing my voice um over like the phone or like looking at myself talking i just I remember i had to film um a video in eighth grade um for a teacher that was really well known um on our team and she was leaving to go to a different school and so um i i don't remember if we had the option to or if we absolutely had to i'm pretty sure we had to but we had to record a video of how she impacted our life and she was a great teacher so it was all it was it was a good thing that you know the school did this for her but um i did it with two other girls and <laughs> um my entire class um for that team which was not just one classroom like 30 kids it was a lot of kids we all had to sit down in the cafeteria and <laughs> watch this video of everybody and what they had to say about this teacher and when mine came up I was just like I don't want to hear this this is embarrassing this is super awkward and not to mention eighth grade when you know you're going through puberty and, and things are things are just super weird in eighth grade and um, so yeah I, I've always like I said before I've always been super camera shy and so now I'm like really excited and pumped to start these videos for you guys whether people watch them or not I think this is a lot of fun and it's kind of like boosting my mood and my confidence and the morale in my life is coming back and I finally feel like um you know I'm I have a new hobby to do I, I really enjoy editing these videos but anyway I'm starting to a rant so um let's get on to what I pack in my bag so um so like i said this is just for a general hike um i have backpacked a couple of times so i have a more heavy duty backpack for um for those adventures the ones where you're gonna stay overnight in nature um but this is um my backpack that i use for general hikes it's a browning i can see it right there i don't know if you can see it it's really bright in here. Um, <laughs> I love this backpack. It's so awesome. I got it from Cabela's. Um, and it has a bunch of different components to it, which you can store so much stuff in it. It's really comfortable to wear. Um, it's got these pockets for water bottles, which I don't really use these for water. Um, unless it's really really hot outside which i don't really hike when it's super hot because i don't i personally don't like the heat at all um and i don't want to overheat my dogs since i love hiking with my dogs um but i'll show you what i use them for anyway so let's go inside i'll show you the inside of it yes it's super super spacious inside got a bunch of pockets up here got a Got a big one down here too. Um, this is an awesome backpack. I so much. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So I don't 
pack this in my backpack um i put this in my car but i figured i would include it in my video um it's really dusty because my dogs um made my car really muddy the last time we went off-roading yay <laughs> so it's just a little general first aid kit that i carry with me everywhere this thing is always always in my car um just in case anything happens i've only had to open this thing one time and i think it was maybe for like a band-aid or something i don't really remember so thank goodness i haven't really had to use this um but i mean it, it could definitely come in handy if something happens um but anyway so yeah i keep that in my car i don't carry that everywhere in my backpack so um this i typically don't really carry on general hikes unless it's really hot um because i'm always dehydrated so my skin is always really dry and i know that kind of doesn't make sense because i know that you know your skin is drier in the winter but um i don't know it's just more stuff to carry it's just a little bottle of lotion actually this is a big bottle of lotion um <laughs> i don't know why i'm showing this one because usually i just carry like a little pocket sized one but um i use it all so i don't have one right now <laughs> so yeah i always carry lotion with me mostly when it's really hot outside um so i have this big bottle of water it's my nalgene it is uh 48 ounces i always carry this thing with me um usually i just carry the one because this thing is so large um it it, it gets me and the dogs through one like three hour hike typically um especially around here most of the hikes that i go on do have water on them uh, have streams running through them <laughs> that's the better way to say that um so i typically don't really have to carry more than just this one water bottle which is really nice um but like i said again if it's hot i will carry multiple water bottles and this one i just put inside of the backpack because um the side pockets are too small for this thing and it falls out um and yeah so moving on i do like to carry treats for the dogs um I know it's really bright in here and I'm still figuring this camera out. So yeah, um, I don't carry just these treats. I carry all kinds of different treats for them. Um, if they're doing like a really good job um, or say we went on a hike before I got to give them breakfast, which um, that sounds really mean, but dogs um, need to earn their food. So um, the best thing to do is to exercise them and then give them food. Because if you think about wolves in the wild have to run forever before they finally catch and kill something and then eat. Um, so if you think about it that way, it's not cruel. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will carry these if um, I feel like they're really hungry and we've been doing like a really hard hike. Uh, usually I carry like bigger treats for them just so like they can fill their tummies a little bit more I guess <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um, next thing I carry for the dogs is this little collapsible um, water bowl it's really small and light and I love the fact that um, you can open it Eva's like um, how come you're carrying this and we're not on a hike right now she's She's super mad at me. <laughs> I pulled out all this stuff and she's like, yeah, let's go. We're going on a hike. And then of course, um, I sit down to film this video and now she's really mad at me. Um, but I really like this one, um, because it's, um, rubber. So it's, it, it dries really easily. If you carry like a towel on you and you don't want something in your backpack to get wet, uh, for example, like car keys, um, my car is remote start. So, um, all water needs to be away from my car keys. Um, but I like this one better than the cloth ones unless you're putting like dry kibble in there because the cloth ones do absorb the water and then they stay wet forever. Uh, I um, ran into that problem when I went uh, backpacking um, a year ago or so and um, it, 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 it got all my clothes wet and um, well the clothes that were like by it and it was just really annoying. So I really like these rubber collapsible water bottles for um, hiking and backpacking. Um, oh, not to mention they're really easy to clean too, so <laughs> less germs for the dogs. Um, I always carry leashes for the dogs just in case, nothing fun. Um, my dogs are typically um, off leash when we're hiking, but um, you know, you never know if someone is going to freak out over your dog or typically I just hold them by the collars and that's why I have such thick collars for them so that they're easier to grab. Um, 
but you never know just in case what if you're by a cliff or something you need um, to have leashes so yeah um carry poop bags for the dogs because there's nothing more annoying than an irresponsible dog owner who does not clean up after their dogs um, I don't want to step in poop. I know um, other people don't want to step in poop, especially people who are not dog people. Um, it's just really disrespectful. I, I guess it's kind of like if a smoker were to be smoking next to someone who doesn't smoke cigarettes and they're not, you know, uh, I don't know, they're being invasive on their, their clean air. Um, extra hair ties, nothing exciting, just in case. Um, I carry chapstick because again, like I said, I'm always dehydrated so I need something for my lips at all times. Glasses because I am super blind. <laughs> and these glasses are so old, they're not even really my prescription anymore. They're so dinged up from hikes and I mean, I don't know if you can tell how scratched up they are, but they're absolutely terrible, but they still work so screw it. <laughs> Why fix what's not broken? Um, I carry little, uh, like a little tissue bag. You know, it's super bright in here, so typical little, just tiny tissue bag. Can't even tell you guys how many times I've had to pee in the woods um, from drinking too much coffee before my hike or drinking so much water on the hike that um, you just have to go. It's so nice to have wipes when you have to go, and for your leaky nose as well, I guess, what, which most people would typically carry these for. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. So, anyway, moving on. Snacks. Snacks are always good. Um, apples, bananas. Well, bananas typically don't last. But apples, small little um, energy bars or whatever are always nice for a simple little two to three hour hike. Um, I, I never really bring, like, a sandwich or, like, a, a larger meal unless... Um, the hike I'm going on is really long, then I'll bring a lunch with me, but typically I don't. Um, one other thing that I really do like to bring with me in my backpack during summer specifically is bug spray. Um, we all hate being bit by mosquitoes. You don't know who they've bit before you. And the one bug spray that I love the best is this one. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Um, yeah, it still has a price tag on it. Um, it's, it's from Coleman and I really like this because it's deep free. Um, and I can spray this on the dogs. I've sprayed this on the dogs multiple times. Um, you know, not like in their face, but like close to their fur or whatever, because I don't want them getting heartworm from mosquitoes or, you know, not that I don't, you know, vaccinate them and have pills for that kind of stuff. But just in case, um, I remember... I went to Wyoming a long time ago and um, I can't remember, I think I went for the 4th of July weekend and the mosquitoes up in the big sandy Rockies area are so bad. I mean, I wish I could just insert a picture of what my leg looked like when um, I came back from that trip. I it, Red bumps everywhere, everywhere and poor Eva was getting eaten alive and the bug spray that I had just did not work at all if anything i feel like it attracted the bugs even more so this stuff really works um it's really potent as far as uh smell goes so yeah don't don't spray your face too closely with this but um i i swear that the stuff every time a mosquito has been near me and i sprayed this stuff it's just instantly gone and i i love this stuff i swear by it um and then in summer, of course, I bring sunscreen um, if needed. Um, typically, I like to go out in more of a forested area when um, it's summer, but just in case there are a couple hikes that are like more desert around here and then they turn into a forest, so you're exposed for a really long time on the beginning of the hike or like towards the end of the hike. Um, also, um, if it's really cold, I will bring like an extra pair of gloves or an extra pair of um, like I'll wear a beanie on my head or like earmuffs, just something to keep myself warm. I guess it just depends on the time of the year or how you handle the heat or the cold. Like I said, I can't handle the heat whatsoever. I hate the heat more than anything. Um, but yeah, uh, I know this video is a lot longer than I expected it to be because I don't pack very much in my hiking backpack. Um, 
I guess I'm just talking a lot. <laughs> but anyway, um, I do want to show you guys what I pack for backpacking trips. That is going to be a, um, a much longer video because I am crazy and I overpack a lot. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, but until then, I'll see you for my next video. <laughs> Bye.